Hello music fans. So I'm doing another first impressions video uh, where I'm going to just give my quick first impressions on three albums that came out uh, yesterday, on Friday, August 27th. I think that's the date. Yep, that's the one. Um, the first album I'm going to talk about is by the band Leprous and the album is called Aphelion. And this is a great progressive rock album. It has hints of metal, hints of pop, hints of classical and symphonic music. And some parts are kind of like art rock, reminiscent of Radiohead or Muse. Uh, on every track but the last one, it's, it's all clean singing. The lead singer has a high voice and does a lot of these oh, 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 type, <laughs> type runs with his voice. Um, he has great vocal control and I've grown to really like his voice, but it's an acquired taste as the timbre is a little bit unique and not for everyone. I was pleasantly surprised on the last track when he let out a scream as well. And for me this album's a step up from their last album from 2019, Pitfalls, uh, but it doesn't quite rival my favorite period of the band, which is from 2009's Tall Poppy Syndrome to 2017's Melina, which is my favorite from the band. And while the production on Aphelion is the best it's ever been, the songwriting is a little more towards the pop music side and focus on catchy hooks and slightly less on the progressive side, I think, than their earlier work. Uh, I do like the introduction of the slide guitar in some of the songs and it's kind of interesting the way this album is written, how almost every song is a soft slow burn that starts with this soft and beautiful singing and soft sounds and then somewhere in the song has just an epic explosion of energy and high pitch vocal climax. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And another album that came out this Friday was uh, the album Wallflowers by the band Ginger. And this is progressive metalcore album, amazing screaming and singing from the lead singer Tatiana, who is one of, if not the best female metal singer, in my opinion. And as usual, the drumming and guitar riffs are killer too. Uh, there's some great brutal breakdowns and screams, but also beautiful soft passages and singing, jazzy passages. It's really great, just like everything this band does. And the third and final album I'm going to talk about uh, that was released this past Friday was the album Innocence and Danger by the Neil Morse Band. And this is another great progressive rock album with Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater on drums. And he and Neil Morris uh, both played on the amazing Transatlantic album from this year too. I kind of like the Transatlantic album a bit better than this Neil Morris band album, but both are great. And this album has a really catchy choruses that make you want to sing along. It's got a bit of a Christian vibe to it, I, I feel, um, which I don't usually go for, but. The composition and playing is so interesting that I don't really pay attention to the lyrics and I kind of give it a pass on that. And it's not like overtly Christian, it's just got like kind of those undertones and, and messages. Uh, so I think that's another really cool album uh, for people to check out and hopefully you heard of some new albums here to check out and you enjoy them. Till next time, peace out.